What's going on YouTube? Once again, back with an actual reaction this time. If you're new to my channel, just go to the comment section and post a song you'd like me to react to and I'll get right to it. Um, this is going to be a genuine reaction in two ways. Number one, whenever this guy was like, yo, you should do corn. Another brick in the wall. I'm like, another brick in the wall. That sounds like uh, the title of Pink Floyd song. Because just in my passing, I have heard of a lot of songs in different groups, but I never actually listened. So I never heard an entire Pink Floyd song in my life. And you're probably thinking, holy crap, that's crazy. How? I just never had the desire to. I was never really into that type of uh, music. Um, but I know of the band because I used to dabble with psychedelics. And people would say, you know, if you're ever going to like do a psychedelic, to definitely just turn on some Pink Floyd, uh, Dark Side of the Moon or whatever. I just never did it. Growing up, I would see people have the tattoo of, you know, the rainbow and the prism and all that, and people give high praise to them, but I just never cared to listen. So not only is it a song I never heard, it's going to be a cover I also never heard either. So let's get right into it. Corn, Dark Side of the Moon album, right? That's where another brick in the wall comes from, right? I don't know. Let's go. Oh, and he specifically said do 2004. So it's uh, Wordster Festival. There was another one, I think, in Montreal, but this was like the top one. So he's probably referring to this one. I want to see everybody cigarette lighters out there. Come on. Oh, yeah. With that being said, too. Uh... It's funny you could bring lighters into a venue. Number one, I don't condone drug usage, so I'm not saying disregard what I said, but I'm just saying in my passing, people said, you know, hey, do psychedelics and listen to that album. I've been clean for over five years, no, not even a sip of beer, uh, cigarettes I haven't had in going on eight years, and no weed or anything in over five years. But yeah, and also I bring up the whole cigarette thing because... He said, bring your cigarette lighters up. Let's go. Daddy's flown across the ocean. Sounds familiar though. A snapshot in the family album. Sounds like uh like we don't need no education. I don't know. Daddy, what else did you leave for me? Really? Is that what this is? <laughs> so the whole freaking time this was that was that song. I didn't freaking know. Oh my goodness, that's so funny. I was wait I was secretly waiting for it, but I'm like, nah, it can't be. It can't be. Come on. <laughs> Screw you. Can't get over it.
good. Definitely full of energy. Um, the crowd's definitely going crazy. Um, I will agree. We don't need education. Not the way that they give it to us. Not just that, but kids are having a time of their life with COVID. You know, COVID sucks for the adults, but the kids are having a blast. Just going to school online or maybe doing two days out of the week or whatever. Kids are like... And they didn't know what we had. We had an entire... From preschool to freaking college, if you went to where you got to go all the time. Yeah, of course, there are the exceptions where people are skipping school and everything, but I know I sure did. Screw school, for real. Life's too short for school. Sorry. I'm not saying don't learn stuff, but, you know, we got YouTube University up in here. Right now, you're educating me. I was like, wait a minute, this sounds like we don't need no education, and that's what this is. I was like, what the heck? And no, I never heard the entire song of that either. I just, you know, the actual version, I just heard that part. So this is this is funny. So I keep giggling a little bit, because, yeah, I'm an idiot, whatever. Seriously? Nah, the cops just came outside and stuff. What the heck? Why? Maybe someone's gonna arrest him? Yeah. Maybe... White things? I don't know, it's just weird. Yes. This is a weird reaction, the freaking cops. Dad, I, I thought they, they were coming here, they had drawn, guns drawn and stuff. Like, I'm still seeing them. I'm like, what? That's why I freaked out. I'm like, what is going on here? Someone's gonna arrest him. I don't know. Sorry for the uh, inconvenience, guys. Sorry for my fat roll, too. Yeah, they're getting somebody. It's weird. If I see that, I'm going to see some guns drawn. Like, what? Yeah. What the heck is going on? Daddy. It ain't leaving now. They took somebody. Yeah. You see that? No. Here, look. Yes. Pick you up. You see them? Yeah, they're driving away. Yep. Because they go to jail. <laughs> they're they're in jail, right? I was like, what is going on? I was going to get my camera and record. And I'm doing a uh, reaction, Addy. It's a recording. So, uh. It's your hat. Yeah, I know, on my hats. Yeah, I dropped my hat on the cops. And I'm like, what is going on? Hey, Dad. It's clean now. Nice. Seashells. Hey, go close my door and let me finish this reaction, all right? Thanks. All the way, you know the drill. Only one that does. Yeah, my bad, dudes. Like, what? Bro, they had guns. They just hooked this guy, put him right in the dang car, and left. That's some crazy stuff. Bro, it just it was out of nowhere. What the heck? There wasn't even sirens, just lights. All right, let's let's get back into it.
myself out. Now I sit on the bed. So you sit on the floor? <laughs> you sit on the bed. But I had to go out real quick. Let me finish this reaction. You can come in in a second. Close the door all the way. Well, I must say, I'm sorry about that weirdest reaction again. So first, Mama got me with MCR. Now this is number two. Is number three going to be the charm? Stay tuned for the next episode of Ryan Reacts. But no, um, the stage presence was amazing. Like, oh my goodness, he just really controlled the crowd. His voice, he just, like, I said it in the last one, but his voice is one of a kind. A lot of people try to emulate his voice, like I just did in Flames, uh, Take This Life. He's trying his hardest to be him. But, um, it's just how he ha he has, like, this clever, like, way of how he sings the song to you. Like, it's so, it's clever, it's just, it's so, like, like, majestic. I don't know if that's the right word, but it's just what I came up with. But, I, yeah, it's funny, I had no clue that uh, we don't need, we don't need no education. Was that I had no idea who who sung it, who the band was. I just would hear people play that song, and I would only hear that part or pay attention to that part. Um, 2004 was a heck of a time to be alive. That looked like a heck of a show. If you got to witness that, then that's something that's just going to be implanted as a memory that you'll never forget. I can feel it just by watching it. That. Eight minutes or so. We just, we won't get music like that anymore. Like, it's too late. The world is just too much in shambles. Social media destroyed it. It destroyed any reason. Like, there could be imitations for epic shows, but generally speaking, it's it's dead. Because the new generation, like, generation of back then, those adults are now grandparents, a lot of them. Well, we were the teenagers, the young teenagers or kids or whatever. Some of you viewers might even be younger. I mean, I looked at my demographic of people and it was in between 24 years old to 34 years old. And I'm 30, but like, man. Insane. And it's cool that they actually did a cover like that. I mean, the, the band's chemistry is just insane. Because, uh... Everyone flows with each other. But, yeah. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless you. Have a good day. Um, definitely post more songs down in the comment section. Yeah, that cop thing freaked me out. Like, because like, they were drawing guns, and it just looked like they were just coming across. And I'm like, oh, what did I do this time? I didn't do anything. A little bit of PTSD. But now they took somebody. It's crazy. It was two, it was two cars. One was like all black, and the one was just a normal looking cop car. And that's when I spotted. When I looked out, I'm like, "Oh, this." Uh, so I just went. I was went to go downstairs just to like post up, you know, see what I had to do. Cause, yeah, people be getting framed, or you know, for it's a home invasion next door. I mean, gotta gotta lock everything up. You gotta take care of what's yours. But then when I got my daughter and I looked, I'm like, okay, now I see what's going on.
But as always, guys, I already said it, but I'll say it again because it's worth saying. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless you. Have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one.